so I keep response. thinking about post I keep thinking about post COVID, uh, specifically the economy. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, this is just how my brain works. But I'm very, very worried that we're gonna have the most conservative government in the history of Canada right after COVID to clean up the perceived mess. Yeah. The deficit is now four hundred billion dollars for this year alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four hundred billion yeah. and growing. I'm telling sure. you, what, here's the thing. We don't have term limits in Canada. And yeah. as long as, and Jean Chrétien, trust me, he, he spanned many different uh, 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 economic, uh, Jean Chrétien was Minister of Finance. So he knew exactly how to play the economy because he was Minister of Finance under Trudeau and under Trudeau during very hard financial times. So mm -hmm. it's, that's but it was true, Paul Martin, But it was Paul Martin who was really guiding him through all that, yeah. right? Was, yeah, Paul was Martin Jean under his prime ministership was the only Canadian prime minister never to contribute to a deficit. Yeah. And yeah. prior prior to COVID, I keep going back to this, Mulroney and Harper yeah. created 75% of the total deficit of Canada. Yeah. Yeah. And the other two, the 24% were the two Trudeaus and then all the rest. Yeah. Look, so and this is pre, this, that's pre-COVID mine. So right. yeah. what's going to happen next is uh, if, if this comes to term and we do get conservative leadership after all this, um, you are going to see a very desolate lower class, a yeah. decimated middle class, and the rich will be fine. Yeah. Well, I will say you turned me around on the, on the partisanship because you're, you're right. Like, it doesn't necessarily mean that the conservatives will go into power, but then you're going to have a very right-wing liberal party. So yeah. I'm not sure there's a huge difference yeah. either way, but there I guess I'm, I'm concerned about what they're going to do, right? See, if CBC is losing 300 jobs, and, they're, and the, the conservatives right now are already petitioning to eradicate them, yeah, at what yeah. point do they just continue to slash arts funding? Can, mm -hmm. I, can I ask that you keep talking? Uh, Andrew's face almost exploded, and I want to see if it will. <laughs> oh, my God. It doesn't matter. This is my point. Dude, meet the new boss, same as the old boss. I really do. I've never said this on the show before, but I'll say it now. The left, right, middle, green, it's an illusion. It's, an, it's you know, this veil that mm -hmm. we put over systems of power that truly yeah. run this country and the world the, there say, used to be and a, a man much smarter than than i said um you know the it, and he was talking about the u.s political system in in particular around election times and he said uh the the country is a mac truck moving forward and every four years you get to change the little dog ornament that's on the front of it <laughs> <laughs> and i would yeah. say yeah. now that applies to canada yeah. And for the U.S. metaphor, yes, the truck is moving forward, but it seems every four years now you need to replace the driver to make sure it's not going to crash everyone yeah. into a tree. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah.